Hello everybody, welcome back to Man Meets Games. I am Human, and this is Empyrean Galactic Survival, and we are working on this base. And a lot of you are like, no, don't do it. This is a starter base. Well, yes, it's going to be attacked. It's going to happen. I'm not worried about it. Things like that are going to happen in Empyrean. And it's your job to just, you know, all out, fight it off. That's it. That's all you got to do. Station console, where is it? Small generator and small constructor. And you can access it like that. Isn't that nice? I thought it was. All right, so what I want to build is a couple more turrets, or at least one, two, and that's all my cue. Okay. I want to get a couple of turrets uh, operating. Do I have my jetpack on? No, I do not. And while that is... I want to try getting up here real quick. Going. I want to... Take some of this stuff apart. Oh man. Let me get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some of this down. And when I come back, we will get to building. Alright, I took down this top section, and then we're going to go into this, bring up the inventory. Uh, actually, close this out, and then bring up the inventory. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cargo box, access. And then we're going to move all of this over to here. And apparently we could only make one sensory gun. We're still making the other one. Move that there. Close this out. Get back into the T menu, which you can connect with F4 and then T. And I'm going to go ahead and place a sensory gun here. And you can change your sensory guns to this. Retractable, straight, retractable, straight. I think I want to do retractable on that one. And then we're going to go... Close off this top section. And it will show you, uh, I have to figure out how to do it. I need to take that part out. It can show you where the um, weak points are in your build. So that's handy. And it makes it easier for, one, for scavenging and salvaging because then you can just knock your stuff down on their weak points. Okay, and then we're going to go up like that. We'll knock out more of this stuff. Or not. Kind of filled in nicely there. I like being able to build like this. Uh, we're going to have to definitely knock out that lower section. And then build across here. Up, oh, we are out. What is this clicking I'm hearing? Why am I hearing a clicking? I have no idea why I was hearing a clicking. All right. That should be all right. Okay. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting caught up in the building a little bit. Is it clicking again? Alright. I just get a little caught up, I know. And I'm just trying to get this uh, base built. I meant to make this a door. Alright, so can I... Salvage... Yeah. Alright, we're going to try salvaging out one or two blocks to make a door and then uh, that'll cut over to here that's what I meant to do I wasn't paying attention to my build so now I get to try to redo it
All right, we got quite a bit more blocks to work with. Get up here, get up here, there we go. And then we're gonna close this in. So since this is our core, we wanna make, make sure this is kind of protected at least. And let me just get back in my drone. It's starting to become nighttime, makes it harder to build, but I'm in the way there. Still in the way. There we go. You can see a little bit better using the drone lights. That helps. Let's see. There, there. There, there. There, there. And then drag it around this way. We got 27 of them left. I don't want to deal with radiation. So I'm trying to close this in as much as possible. Oops. And 19 left. And closing this off. It looks funky, but we can also turn this into like a landing pod. We're going to make it not look a little bit uh, suspicious like something else. <laughs> okay, so there's our uh, closed off radiation leaking power supply. Whoops. There we go. And that'll go there, and then we'll just put a wall. Just that. And there's three, and we have four left, so we'll just put this here. And then one more. This will be our uh, crafting and power generation room, which we'll need to get some more fuel going. We need some more lights. We need it all. Let's see. Close this off, too, eventually. Let's just do. I have no idea what that does. All right. Crafter. Uh, let's see. More concrete rocks. And then we're going to go into... Close that. Open this up. And we've got another 900 rounds. And that's going into the ammo box. Oops. That's right there. It's 1,200 rounds. Yeah, that should do pretty well. All right, I want to go into decor, I think. Let me try over here. Uh, devices, decoration blocks, none. Devices, water generator, which you tank, small to clone chamber, fridges, which we need later, food processor, want us to do I think solar panels I think a couple of small well one big one will do and then a solar capacitor yeah and now we just access these cargo box which I'm still linked through that one ability I have we'll drop that 29 in and back into the flight I do like the building in this it's relatively cool all right we'll just leave uh, this section open because it's not gonna be anything important close this off I need to pick this up Left shift F. Oops. Go away now. Pick that up too. Ah. All right, back into the building. Oh, I can here. There I can. All right. So I'm gonna let me place it because that blocks down there. We'll fix that later. And then we need a roof. And also, you can go into here and bring up different shapes. There's your ramps. 
corner cut, notch, slice corner, all that good stuff. We have basic walls, wall corners, L shapes, rounds, all the cool, cool details. Uh, let's see, category thin, corridor, corners and connectors, round shapes and pipes, and I'm just curious how this would look. Let's see. I would have to build it a little different. Let's see. Back into this. And yeah, there's the ramp double. Nope. Frivolousness is frivolous. I want to make something different. Come on. I'll have more. And this is going to be a nice little raised roof in here. I don't know why. I just want to do it. I'm whimsical sometimes. And I need some lights. Let's see. Light. Let's see if that'll be any worth it. I just need a small one. And back into the here. And we need to make some more concrete blocks. Back into here, access to storage. I'm hitting P, by the way. I was hoping you guys uh, knew what I was doing. So we need to place the solar panel, solar capacitor. And then what else do we have? Another 100 rounds for us. And that looks... And that light right here. Yeah, that looks good. We're okay on food for a minute. And then we're going to go into T and see here. In, connect, rotate. Cannot place? Why cannot I place this light? Do I have to place it on the ground? I can't place this light. That's annoying. Go back into P. Access the instructor. Do that. And then what else do I need to build? A uh, growing plot. Yeah, I need to do a growing plot. But first, power room needs an upgrade. I need some light in here. Bad. And then rotate. Yeah, that'll work. Back into five. The first time this gets bombed out, I'm going to be bummed, but I kind of want it up here. Eh. It'll go right there. I could place this there. And then I can place the blocks like I want. Sweet. Why? That's probably a different kind of block. And then... Got that done. Back into the constructor. No, wait. The generator. Cargo box. Cargo box. And that's plant glow light. Okay, now I can place the light. And I'm going to place it exactly dead center in this room. And then we're going to go over here. I guess I could put a grow light in this room. Since it's just once one plot, just to give us some extra light. That looks pretty cool, too. That's nice. And then we go back into the P menu. Oh, small constructor. And then I want to look at plot. Growing plot. Concrete. 
nutrient solution. How do you make a nutrient solution? Uh, let's see. Probably going to be under the food processor. Yeah, so we'll just do that real quick. Food processor, small constructor, food. Actually, I know what it looks like right there. Food processor. Oops. Back into the cargo box. Make sure there's nothing else I need to place. All this is spoiled food, which should stack automatically. And there's all my bricks. And we're going to have more in it in just a second. Uh, come on. Is it still making it? Wow, it take it gets hung up sometimes. Give it a second. There we go. Don't know why it gets hung up. And cargo box. And then I want to replace this so I can start working on some fuel because we need that. Okay, food processor is gonna go main room. Uh, food processor was going to go in main room. Not going to go there now. We need some more room. Uh, take out the center section. And I'll be happy. It'll give me enough space for the food pro. I did not. That's fine. That's fine. That can be its own little thing. Actually, this works. And then I'm going to put down the base real quick. Do like this building method. And then we're going to need way more concrete bricks because this is another room. And we'll take out the center stuff and make that a room on its own too. So while I get this stuff going, uh, where am I standing? I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, get some more uh, bricks going, and just get this uh, finalized up, because it's a lot of building, I know. I wish I could place it right there, but I can't. So we'll just... Uh, Run it out the front, place it there, go into wood, and that stuff I need to make. Biofuel, where is it? There it is. Just as many as I can at this point. And then we've got that to drop into our small generator. Uh... Wait, fuel tank. There we go. Down to 4%. That's not good. 14%. There we go. That's a little bit better. And uh, keep the flamethrower. Keep the recharge talent crossbow on you. There was a really strong multi-tool I'm trying to get to use. That's going to be the uh, more important one. Uh, let's see. Get... No, I don't want to talk to you. I need to take you out. Switch out from that. And then I'm going to go ahead and clear the center section out. And we gotta get some food in this too. I will return in one second. Alright, we got a few more. <clears throat> sorry about that. We got a few more blocks and I cleared the center section. Did destroy my cloning chamber in the process, but we are fine with that because I can. I got another one on the way. It's okay. I wanna try getting all this closed off. If it gets hit anytime by any. Drones, I want to have as much layering as possible. Sorry about that. 
and eventually we will build underground and stuff like that. I just want to get used to how this game builds and how it digs. I have died so many times from that. All right. Go back into cargo box. Access. There's the other 30. Just going to close off our little food processing area real quick. And then this outside wall. We'll worry about the interior stuff in a bit. I'll do some deco on that one. Be honest that was my plan and then we have one left darn it we're so close I'm afraid that thing's gonna be shot by my turret eventually but if it happens it happens we'll just have to move it or replace it it's a nice little square bunker we got going on and we got a lot to take out still and be fine. This is for the drones. That's all that's for. And if you want to know how to access these, you go over here. Equipment. Hang on. Let's see. Sentry gun on player retractable. Access. Thought we uh, could retract it from here. Let's see, NPC factions, prey, predator, select sub-targeting group, drones, players, hover vessels, small vessels, capital bases. Okay, so we're just going to keep that uh, like that, and then do this one, predator, and predator off. I don't know how to retract them. Main. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. I'm going to change this one to... Uh, uh, what is this base name? Fort Boxington. Fort Boxington. Private faction, home spawn, which I need to do later. Okay. There we go. All right, that's all set up. Now, do I have any more bricks? Devices, signal logic? We'll figure all that stuff out later. Uh, cargo box, access. Uh, there's the other 62. And close this off. We'll get some more lights. And stuff in here. We'll take out some of these center pieces, and it's time to close this up. Uh, let's see, do I want to category cubes and ramps, shapes, thin walls, quarter elements? I think I can make it. I can make a door elsewhere. So we'll keep that like that, and can't do anything there yet. Close this off with that. Mmm, I hate that. And then take this out. Alright, give me a second. I gotta take this stuff out before I can build that side piece back up. I just want to close this bit. I'm gonna leave that one jutting out a little bit, but I want to close that one up flush and just have like this little doorway area protected. All right, can I place it now? Well, I can't make it flush because that wall's in the way. And it doesn't have, it's got the light next to it. All right, one second. It's a process, especially when you're trying to renovate a piece of crap. But we're gonna make it work. I might try a thin wall right here, but you can't place anything against the thin wall. Get that out of the way and then Take this down. Hey, let me get rid of the lever. I don't know what that was for. Mm, there we go. 
back in the building. And then we can close that. And we will close this. And we'll keep that there for the time being. I'm calling that a hardened location. And then I'll place some other sentries and stuff like that. Now, as far as the doors, I know I'm just flying around in my uh, drone more than I'm playing with my character. I know that, but it works for me. Uh, let's see. Doors. Automatic doors. Manual doors. Kind of want a manual door. At least for this. And then back into the cargo box we go. And there's my clone chamber, which I need to replace. I uh, hate that. There's the manual door. And then it's big. Slim. Okay. Looks like we can place it right here, so... Why can't we place it right there? It's probably the height of this section. Does it look like height to you? It looks like height. And back one. All right, give me one second to adjust all this up. All right, so I built the wrong door, and I placed the right door there. I'll show you which one I did, but first I want to try getting this uh, placed. It'll look a little bit better if I slim it up. And it won't lose any of its integrity. But it closes this off. And then we'll close out my drone. Uh, gotta get some more lights. There we go. We got a door. You can kind of see outside. We gotta get more lights in this place. Yeah, I understand. Tear some more of this out. Let's get rid of this deco. Get rid of all this. All right. Now we're starting to cook. Let me get some more lights going. I can't do this with the very limited amount I've got going for me right now. So just give me one second to get some more going. And then we'll call it an episode. All right. Now we can actually see a little bit. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do still. I'm going to go ahead and place a few of these and go back to the solid cubes. Get this filled in real quick while we're still standing here. Got a little bit of time. Place, please. Place, please. And then we can leave our access or our access or uh, ammo crate a lot easier right there, too. Get rid of some of this metal real quick. I am bound and determined to make this place a viable base. Too many people said you can't do it. I think we can. Your first base should be thought of as being abandoned. No, it's not going to... Wait, I want to keep that. Oh, I'll worry about it later. I want to put a door there, actually. So we'll go back into small constructor access, and I'll show you which door we did. Uh, manual doors? No. Automatic doors, yes. There's a quicker way of doing this, but I like, got stuck in this. Oh, I got some more lights. <laughs> These manual doors back, and I need to put the clone chamber down. Anyway. Uh, clone chamber can go right here. Nice. And then I'm going to put a light above it. And the more light, the better. And you see this, uh, yeah, you can't do that. You can't use those flats, uh, Properly, but that's fine. Alright, and then go back into this cargo box and place the manual door. No, not the manual. I want the automatic. Automatic door. And then rotate, which is the end key. And then we're going to place that there. And that'll just give us another, uh, oh, crap. That sucks. I want to, that's going to give us a, a nice little secure 
base for the time being. We'll see how uh, drones do. I haven't been attacked since that first Xyrex attack episode, so that's going to be a unknown. I still got to make the growing plot real quick. Uh, figure out how to do that one, which we'll place right here. I have a feeling that I am out of... No, I'm not out of... I shouldn't be out of fuel. Let's see. Fuel tank, access... 10% fuel. But we got a nice operational base. Uh, we'll do some tweaking here and there. I can cut this out uh, a little bit and... Or just leave it, actually. Because it works. But yeah, we'll leave that wall here as a little reminder of where we once were and how we got here. We'll take a look at it now. Fort Boxington! Yep, yep. I think it's going to work for now. We'll keep adding to it. We'll keep working on it. Make it look a little bit better. We'll move stuff around here and there. But yeah, that's Fort Boxington, the start of. And then we'll go over to wreckage and do some more story finish the growing plot all the good stuffs we'll take one quick look at this uh food processor and that's going to give me flour milk bread and then i can connect this to a cargo pallet or ammo box cargo box and then we should have the ability to do a growth thing Somewhere? I'll look into it. Nutrient solution. I need purified water. And I just need to make an, a water producer, which we'll probably do on the next episode. Thanks so much. If you liked this episode, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be so kind of you. Peace out, y'all, and have a good one.